In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Now, WordPress is a powerful publishing tool that makes it easy for anyone to publish their content online. WordPress comes in two different versions, WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Now, while a lot of the key elements are the same, there are some very important differences. For example, WordPress.org is a self-hosted solution, meaning the full-featured, powerful software is completely free. You are, however, responsible for getting a domain name, a web host, which is basically a company that actually hosts the files for your website, otherwise known as your server, and you're also responsible for installing the software. Now, most hosts offer an easy-to-use, what's called a one-click install option for WordPress because it's a pretty popular tool. While you are responsible for hosting and maintaining the site when using the self-hosted option, you are 100% in control of your website and the content on your website. You can use custom themes, plugins, analytics, and best of all, monetize your content, and generally customize the site as much as you'd like. Now, WordPress.com, however, is a commercial service targeted mainly towards bloggers. Using the WordPress system, you can create a free blog, which includes managed hosting and a yoursite.wordpress.com domain name. Now, there are several limits, though. You will not be able to upload custom themes or plugins. You will not have direct access to the files on the WordPress.com server. And advertisements are going to be displayed on your blog. You can, however, upgrade your account and pay additional yearly fees for a custom domain name, additional hosting space, or removing those advertisements. Now, choosing which option is best for you just depends on what your goals are for your website. If you will be focusing mainly on blogging and don't want to handle or hire someone to handle the setup and maintenance, then WordPress.com is likely to be your best bet. If, however, you're a business owner of any size, you would generally be best served with WordPress.org, the self-hosted option, as you will have a lot more control and flexibility for your website. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Thanks for watching.